The chocolate market has exploded with single origin bars. Their labels are beautiful and really complex, and boy, are they expensive. <laughs> 10 bucks, 12 bucks, even more for a single bar of chocolate. Wow. That's how much I love both of you. <laughs> so I brought three of the bars we tasted. We tasted things from 14 different countries. Mm. You can dig in, everything okay. is delicious. I'm just gonna tell you that up front. No yeah. wrong answers here. <laughs> no wrong answers. These are all fairly high cacao chocolates extra bittersweet, 65% all the way up to 77% cacao. Mm. So there's not a lot of sugar here, there's a lot of chocolate. Gorgeous. And what a single origin chocolate means, it comes from a single producer. Mm -hmm. So really like wine reflects the climate, the growing conditions. It's not like an industrial chocolate where they're trying to make the same thing over mm -hmm. and over again with the same flavor. Right. This is all about, it should be unusual. And that probably affects the cost too. Right, and they're also doing a better job of paying the labor and really making a commitment to represent these local communities and their chocolates. Right. So they don't have vintages yet. Oh no, they do have vintages. Oh, they do have vintages. <laughs> oh, interesting, so it is really like wine. It is exactly like wine. Yeah, in fact, they call them harvest because you don't want to age the chocolate, but it's so particular that they want you to know this came from this year, this producer. To make sense of all of this chocolate came up with three categories, which may or may not be helpful for you. Super chocolatey, ultra fudgy. Mm -hmm. The next is what we called herbaceous, funky, and earthy. Mm. Kind of the most interesting category. There were some, honestly, one that tasted like shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, it was, it, so it was earthy. It, the, it was earthy in the best possible way. And then the third category was what we called fruity and acidic. You're like, okay, why did you bring warm water? So that's why we're in mugs. So we found that the warm water really just helps open up your taste buds <laughs> so you can really appreciate the nuances and they're really quite different from each other. This one I feel like is the sweetest of the three. Okay. This one was really chocolate, chocolate forward, almost ganache. I will say the cacao content for the three samples I put on the table is fairly close. Mm -hmm. And some manufacturers, they're adding extra cocoa butter so that you get more creaminess. Mm. In fact, two of the samples that you're tasting have extra cocoa butter for extra richness. Because mm -hmm. one of the things, as you guys know, when you make a low sugar chocolate, you can lose some of that creaminess, right? Because mm, yeah. there's so much chocolate right. in there. This one has a red currant thing going on. I actually really like because it's unexpected. But I love all of these. Every time Bridget says a flavor, I'm like, yeah, I taste that in all of them. Hazelnut. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hazelnut. Mm -hmm. So if I asked you to pick a favorite, or do you feel like that's just so hard here? It's not hard, I like B. Okay. I like B. There's something too fruity about C for me. I don't love citrusy, it's not my thing. It's oh. delicious, but it's not for me. B is my thing, it's chocolate, a little nutty. A is delicious too. Yeah, I'm gonna go between B and A. I think if I had to choose one, I think I like A a little bit more because just some of the undertones, it seems a little bit brighter. All right, well, why don't I tell you what you just tasted. Sample A from a French chocolatier, Francois Prelou. Absolutely delicious chocolate. Definitely. This chocolate's actually coming from Ghana. We thought this was in the ultra fudgy chocolatey category. Ganache. You said ganache, yes. Bing, 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 bing. One for Bridget. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the middle chocolate B, this is from a San Francisco company, Ninth and Larkin. Mm. And this is a 74% cacao chocolate from Fiji. And this was, remember, the kind of herbaceous, funky, nutty, earthy, grassy. you know, grassy. C was in the fruity acidic category. And this is from another San Francisco chocolatier called Dandelion. This is a 70% cacao chocolate from India. And it, you said red currants, and I think you, you, know, you said fruity. Um, and that's really the notes that you get from it. And it's so different from B and from A. I actually really enjoyed it too. So there you have it, single origin chocolates. They're super exciting, they're interesting. Try some at your next party. I'm gonna call you Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> Take our recipes and reviews wherever you go with the America's Test Kitchen mobile app fail-proof recipes, unbiased equipment reviews, how-to videos, and a vibrant community of like-minded home cooks. With smart searching and handy tools, you'll have everything you need to create the most amazing meals. Download the America's Test Kitchen mobile app today. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our Test Kitchen recipes and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.